Good day everyone, it's me at 583 on Willkommen to NHL 12 on the PS3. That's right, you heard it right, this is NHL 12, not 13. Well, if you watch my past gameplay, you can understand why I'm not interested in NHL 13 at this time. Alright, uh, as you can see right in front of you, uh, this is not the Toronto Maple Leafs versus Minnesota Wild. Instead, this is the AHL uh, between the Marlies and the Houston Arrows. Wait, uh, is it is it arrows? Uh, I think that's me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's arrows. Yeah. Um. Anyways, as you can see, there uh, both teams, while well, the lockout's pretty much officially underway right now, and both teams, while well, as you can see, uh, yep, they're pretty much stocking up with uh, players who should be in uh, the NHL. Uh, as you can see, Ben Scribbins is there, and so was uh, Nick Palmieri. Uh, you know Michael Granlin, he's with he's with Houston. So is uh, Zucker. Uh, who else? There's Coyle, Brett Bulmer, and for the Leafs, uh, you got the big three. You got Kadri, as you can see right in front of you. You got him. Uh, you got Joe, Joe Colburn, and of course, their golden uh, prize defenseman Jake Gartner. As you can see, I'm losing two to one. Well, you know, nothing new there. I'm always uh, always seem to be losing when I come into third period. But hey, man, uh, that's our role, man. I uh, like games where I'm trailing. It makes it more exciting. <laughs> Plus, I like to get their hopes up, so uh, makes it all the better. Sweet. <laughs> All right, as you can see, uh, Cole Nor he's playing on the first line. Kadri, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Now in NHL 13, I don't think that would be possible because I'm more positive uh, Cole Noor, his rating has been severely downgraded, uh, if I were to guess, I'd say probably in his 60s, uh, probably 69 or 68, somewhere. you know, somewhere in that neighborhood. But uh, since he's in the NHL and uh, player types is still available in NHL 12, well, here he is on first line, and uh, as you can see, his, his accuracy is not that good. <laughs> oh, there's Joel Colburn, uh, so yep. There you go, no, it was with, uh, oh, look at that. And look who the left winger is, Jay Rosehill. Oh, here we go, we got a fight! My boy, Golnor versus Mr. Rowe. Let's see how he does. Yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh man, gotta be careful here. Ah, oh, well, that's a bus kill. I lost a fight against some guy I never heard of. Oh, that is blasphemous. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, oh Chad Rao, okay. Oh, poor Colin Noor. Not the same fighters he used to be. Yeah, ever since he got, uh... Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, it is the arrows. I don't know that guy. But Mike Zagomanis, well, I'm uh, pretty sure he's back with uh, the Marlies. Uh, you know, they got him and Keith O'Quinn now. Uh, so, there you go. Pretty solid down the middle. Just like that, beat Matt Hackett. Two to two. All right, Matt Hackett, uh, a lot of people say he's probably uh, one of the best goalies in uh, playing in the American Hockey League. Uh, you know, we got him, and the other guy is, of course, Jacob Markstrom with the Florida Panthers affiliate, the San Antonio Rampage. Oh, how could you miss that one-timer? Oh, you're an HLer, that's why. Wait, that who's 17? Uh, I don't know, I forgot who it is. All right, there's Mr. Mark Frazier. Who's an HL uh, status? Not looking too good, barring a trade, of course. Because uh, Corbin Holzer uh, surpassed him in the death chart now. Don't worry, uh, you guys can see Holzer pretty shortly. But in the meantime, as you can see, um, uh, Jack Gardner, expect him to play heavy minutes. Because, uh, oh yeah, guaranteed, because I want him to play 30 minutes here. Same with uh, first two lines there. Kadri, I want him playing more than 20 minutes. Colburn, him too. And uh, for, uh, you know, for Houston, well, expect the same thing with uh, Mr. Backlund and, uh, and Bulmer. So uh, them expect to play more than 20 plus minutes. As you can see, Backlin uh, is on the ice right now. Oh yeah, it's a shame there was a lockout. Uh, well, you know, it's same old, uh, same old shit there. Oh, there's Holzer. Oh, nice shot. 
Oh, Matt Hackett not taking any chances. Oh, there's Colnor. Let's see if I can draw a fight here. Oop, we get, yeah! Oh, that's a big hit. <laughs> oh, there's Carter Ashton. Got traded from Tampa Bay. Uh, yeah, him too is going to get a look at that uh, Maple Leafs uh, training camp. Once it opens, uh, you know, he's got an outside chance. So right now, we had two favorites are, uh, are Colburn and uh, some Kadri. Yeah, here we go. Time to get some redemption. This time, uh, Mr. Scandala is going to step up to the plate. Oh, he's wearing a visor. Well, so far, so good. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Sit down. We got hit once. There you go. Now that's a real cold North fight. <laughs> there you go. Cold North has redeemed himself. Whew. All right, now let's get back to the game. Let's see if we could make anything happen with that fight. Oh, so close. All right, Marcel Mueller. Uh, I'm not sure if he's currently with the Marlies or he moved on elsewhere because uh, I think he might be back in the German leagues. Yeah, because I think uh, Brian Burke only signed for one year. I uh, have to look it up. But uh, since I'm not certain, well, you know, screw it. Get them in the lineup. Yep, it's on a first line. Oh, there's Holzer. Yeah, Holzer, big hit. Woo! Ooh, nice passing. Oh, Mr. Scubins. All right, time to roll up my third line. With Mr. Zigamanis, who's wearing number 93. Paying homage to Doug Gilmore. <laughs> yeah, like uh, this lockout, well, uh, the players, uh, the biggest fear right now is... Uh, well, you know, you don't want to take a pay, pay cut. But at the same time, all owners, well, they may not have, you know, may not have a choice here because uh, almost half the league, uh, you know, their teams, uh, they lost a lot of money. And uh, they have to figure out something on uh, how to, uh, you know, generate some revenues, you know, st stuff like that. So uh, maybe a pay cut is in order there because, oh, man, like I'm, I'm telling you, like, these I don't know, like these seven plus year contracts, you know, like these mega multi year contracts, they gotta go. Like anything past seven years, I got a problem with that. Like, you honestly believe, like right now, I don't think anyone has fulfilled their 10 year contract. And, uh, and those were close. Well, obviously, they're, you know, like they're not worth their salary. Like, if you look at the list, like, oh, like, speaks volumes. So that's why yeah, the owners want to get rid of that. And I don't blame them. But uh, yeah, propeller salaries, honestly, uh, I think they're high enough as it is. Uh, I don't know why the PA wants it to uh, make it higher. I don't know, it's stupid. I haven't looked too hard into it there, so. Uh, it's stupid. But yeah, uh, what's his name? Bobby Orr, uh, two days ago, uh, he made an interesting point. Uh, he said uh, that they should get the owners and the uh, player association, lock them up in one room until they have a solution. So good for you, Mr. Orr. I like that. I mean, uh, I don't know, like somebody could just arrange a bullshit meeting, uh, tell them, okay, we're going to meet in this room, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, uh, Joe Bob's gonna lock the door. There you go. Plant some hidden cameras, get some audio feed. Get the ball rolling. Because uh, the way things are right now, oof, like this could be a long lockout. Like, uh, I don't think, like honestly, probably won't be resolved until, uh, I'd say December. At the earliest. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, I'm not sure if you heard there. Uh, yesterday, they said uh, it's not resolved by November. Then uh, the Winter Classic between Detroit and Toronto will be locked, uh, will be lost and canceled. And uh, that's what it looks like it's going to happen. Because honestly, there a couple of months ago, uh, you know, I, I tried to get tickets for that Winter Classic, but holy shit, it's so complicated. You have to go through so much 
bullshit. Like, at the end, I pretty much gave up, and the uh, same with my cousin there, like, uh, we pretty much put a foot down and say, okay, till there's an easier way, not gonna happen. All right, here we are, overtime, four and four. Got my big guns on the ice. See if anything can happen. All right, I gotta change my settings really quick there, put it to normal. All right. Oh, Connor, so close. Alright, Hadrian Orr. Oh, that's an odd pairing. <laughs> okay. Oh! Just like that, the comeback is over. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, boy. If Kadri could score like that at the NHL level, oh man, he's got a good future. Like, uh, this is going to be a big year for him. And if he can make a statement like that, well, there you go. All power to him. Alright, there's the highlights. Zing! Yes, that's right, Kadri, you scored two goals this game. <laughs> Oh, man. That was a great save, but, uh, well, you know, Skirman's got caught in a rebound. Ugh, that's too bad. Okay, that one got a bit lucky. There you go, some big hits. Yeah, because uh, these two teams there, um... As long as the lockout is in place, both of them I expect uh, to be uh, Calder Cup favorites. You know, along with, uh, you know, the Oilers, um, I think it's Oklahoma City, them too, they're heavy favorites. You know, especially the first time alone. This could put them in the finals. And let's not forget uh, New Jersey with uh, their farm team there, because them too are pretty stacked. So that's your big four right there. All right, first start, no surprise, Mr. Kadri. All right, there's the goals, there's the shots, and face off. Well, no surprise there. All right, here's the scoring highlights. See that, Paul Mary? Yeah, him too. Yeah, good game. All right, as it stands, believe it or not, uh, Nick Paul Mary, uh, even though his property in Minnesota, while he's still a free agent. Oh, oh yeah, even uh, Jay Rosio dropped the gloves. Yeah, Palmieri, well, like P.K. Subban, I uh, guess he, for some reason, he'd rather wait until there's a new CBA. But then again, this uh, new CBA, well, there, there might be a player rollback. So that's the chances Palmieri is taking. Like, that's a big gamble, man. Like, he could have took the short thing, but oh no, he rather, uh, rather wait it out. And if he doesn't like the new CBA, well, tough shit. All right, uh, look at all the minutes there for Marley's, no surprise. Colburn, uh, well, there you go, he almost played 19 minutes, so no surprise there. Uh -huh. so there you go, that's pretty typical. Yeah, look at Jake, Rose about 50 minutes, damn. And yeah, uh, he's not called Nor earlier, so uh, yeah, Mark Fadden, pretty typical. Ooh, a kicky for Quang, not even three minutes, oh, that's disappointing. All right, let's look at the points. Uh, Cole Norner, yeah, leading the way. Him and Kaji. Yeah, good for you. Magazine Magnus, one assist. Uh huh. And as you can see, Joe Colburn got no points. Well, that's right. All right, plus minus. Jack Gardner, no surprise. Plus two. Even Cole Norner. Yeah, great game. Good for him. Kaji. Uh huh. And the rest of the even. All right, no surprise, once again, uh, Kadri, oh man, he's leading all the categories. And there's Joel Colburn, only two shots, oh, that's a, that's a bit let down. Jay Gardner, him two, two shots. Three percentage, well, Christ Spurs, well, what can I say? <laughs> okay, penalty minutes, no surprise there. <laughs> all right, let's look at the hits. Ooh, Mike Frazier leading the way, and uh, Corbin Holzer right behind him, no surprise. Jay Gardner getting a little physical, him too with three hits, good for him. Olnor, Eamon Roseville, one hit, alright, seen enough. 
All right, let's look at the arrows. Holy crap, Paul and Mary leading away. Holy shit, man, do you love him. Grand one, right behind him, no surprise. Camphor, no surprise. Balmer, 30 plus minutes, no surprise. Like, all these guys are gonna have a long look at Minnesota Wild. You know, like, all these guys have a good chance to play with them, but... Well, since they're, uh, the roster is pretty, uh, you know, it's fine as it is, uh, you know, like, there's no need to rush them. Well, you know, barring injury, but, uh, you know, the Wild are uh, notorious for being fragile. Well, I expect these players to be called up almost right away. Starting with Granlin. So, yeah, Granlin, Palmieri, that's a big two is going to be called up. And, uh, Camphor, well, him and Scandale are technically on the team right now, so, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Granlin minus two. Well, then again, he got four shots, so no surprise, man. Palmieri leading the way. Scandella. Oh, look at this. They, they got no p minor penalties. Surprise, surprise. Things never change. All right, that's it for uh, for this game. It's 5 for 83. Until next time. Ouch.